My name is April Hernandez Castillo. I am an actor, SAG nominee. I am a wife. I am a sister. I am a woman. I am Latina, Puerto Rican from the Bronx. Um, thank you, thank you. <laughs> but most importantly, I am a survivor of teen violence. And I say that not to boast of my accolades, but it is to show how far I've come, despite my tragedy. Everybody say, the choice. <laughs> Everyone say, a choice. a choice. Because I realized that that is what the batterer had. See, I've been doing a lot of work, and I had someone sit down and say, well, why do men batter, right? So everyone had their own thoughts. Well, rage, alcoholism, everything that you can think of. All the reasons. And we're all sitting there thinking, oh, wow, yeah, wow, Ooh, wow, yeah. All these little elements of why men batter. And then the facilitator just crossed out everything. And he wrote the word choice. I grew up with a father and a mother who told me, Nena, you could be whatever you want to be. You could be Superwoman. You could be Wonder Woman. And I knew I wanted to be Shitara. Does anybody know Shitara from me? Yeah. Oh my God, thank God. <laughs> so I remember watching Shitara, and this was for Thundercats, right? <laughs> and. And I would just be like, oh my gosh, she's so fast. So I would run, because you know, I was like three feet, because I'm only five feet now, right? <laughs> and so I remember when I would, it was like Saturday mornings, you know Saturday mornings, you watch the cartoons, and you would get all inspired, and like your parents, like don't talk to me right now, I'm watching Thundercats, okay? Um, and so I would like run across, because I had like a long living room, and I would run as fast as I could, because I wanted to be Shitaro. Because to me, Shitara represented power. She represented just strength that I was attracted to. And yet, I couldn't be Shitara in my situation. And I couldn't understand because I had a father who loved me, who instilled all these morals and values and said that I was beautiful, that my body was my temple, and that no one could ever touch me or destroy my character that my parents had been building. I was an athlete. I was strong. And I was the girl who would be like, let me tell you something. <laughs> if anybody ever puts their hands on me, watch. <laughs> but I'm standing here today because I made a choice to live because I made a choice to be a warrior, because I am a warrior, because I've decided and made a choice to make my mess into a message. And I'm with the most amazing man. We've been together for 11 years. And let me tell you, I was a hot mess when I got with him. <laughs> I was ready to pop off. That means in our language, ready to just fight him at any second. And just a quick funny note, I remember one time we were arguing and he's pretty big and he's like has his voice and he like got in my face and I was like, let's go! <laughs> I felt like Shitara! <laughs> I was like, let's go! And he stared at me if I was the exorcist, right? <laughs> and he was like, Whoa, shorty, bring it down. <laughs> and I was just walking around like, okay. If I've already been me, yeah, I could beat you, all right? I'm not dead yet. And I'm not taking away from the seriousness of it because it is serious. But thank God for laughter. And we all here have made a choice. 
And let me tell you, I have met some fierce women who have been through some, you know what, hell. And the fact that they can stand here today and speak about it just shows how fierce they really are. And the fact that all of you are here today to learn, to want to make a difference. I know how tiring it can be. I know how hard it can be on our souls. Some of us are still in the healing process. Some of us are, have even lost our children and we continue to fight. And my message today is do not give up. Make that choice to use your voice, to speak out and be the fiercest Chitara you can ever be. Thank you.